Earlier last week, Fish, Wildlife and Parks released 500 pheasants near Hardin in a program called Roosters for Recruitment, all in an effort to recruit and hopefully create lifelong hunters in the state. This is the moment jailbirds suddenly became free. These pheasants, raised at the state prison in Deer Lodge, are being released across the state, part of an effort to boost declining bird hunting numbers. The whole idea is to get more people to go out hunting and have success. That's going to drive more interest, more interest in going outdoors, more interest in hunting. A decline in license sales has meant a big decline in important revenue for the state. In 2021, the legislature passed a bill authorizing Fish, Wildlife and Parks to use $1 million on a pheasant stocking program. 500 of those birds were recently released into the wild near Hardin. We're trying to recruit new hunters and retain hunters and reactivate hunters that might have lapsed. It remains to be seen whether the program will be successful. In 2020, Montana had just over 17,000 licensed pheasant hunters. In 2004, the numbers topped 18,000. And just six years ago, even soared to more than 21,000 hunters. And the idea was is that if we released pheasants, that would give more people a chance for success and just the experience of going out and hunting. And FWP hopes higher success will also hook young hunters on the sport. They get that joy, that excitement of that, their first harvest, and then they're more likely to continue. And that's what we want to do. We want to take away some of the barriers and help people be successful on their first hunt. A way for the state to not only generate revenue, but maintain interest in a sport rooted in its history. It just kind of helps put forth the notion that it helps support wildlife habitat and really habitat is for all wildlife and the you know with urbanization and urban sprawl and things like that so we just continue to lose wildlife habitat and it's so important in order to be able to maintain wildlife populations in billings phil van pelt mtn news